Welcome back to another edition of the Pitch Punt and Puff Podcast. My name is Roger, a.k.a. RGB. Appreciate everybody tuning in. Uh, before we get rolling with our guest tonight, I want to give a quick shout-out to our sponsor, 420 Bliss, located at 740 Hoosick Road in Troy, New York, right up in the Walmart Plaza, um, as well as Trouble Off The Tee. Check them out, troubleoffthetee.com. You got 15% off site-wide. Uh, also have buy one, get one free on the polos. Use promo code PUFF. For the Bible and get one freeze promo code RGB for the 15% off. But tonight, I uh, got got some pretty cool guests coming out. We got the Mulligan Masters uh, joining us. What's up, fellas? How you doing tonight? Hey, I'm doing good. Thanks hey, for guys. asking. I'm great. I'm, I'm really happy. To be- Absolutely. So I got my co-host Jr. with me as well tonight. What up, Jay? What's up? What's up? Yeah. So I've been following you guys on Instagram pretty much since the jump. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit? What, what you guys do, man. Tell everybody what you guys do. Yeah, I, yeah, I'll take this one. Uh, so we started this about a month ago. Um, I was playing golf one day with a couple of my buddies, and while we were leaving the course, I told them, you know what, roll down that window, window and start and start recording because he's going to honk during his backswing and see what happens. So he did just that. He rolled down the window. He pulled out his phone. And then as we were pulling off, we just got this – perfect clip we honked like right when he said the top of the backswing weirdly enough this is the first clip and uh it overnight it gained like a hundred thousand views and then a week later it's at about about 1.4 million and uh the weirdest thing about this first one was uh he didn't even give a reaction or anything he didn't he didn't uh run at the car or throw a ball he just looked back and just like stared at us and i he think like this, the, he was like just look back and like disgust <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah yeah, I, it, uh, I think just like the simplicity of the clip and just like how like and it was kind of bad quality too. Like I, I think that I think it all just kind of played a role. And then you know I, I was like, oh shit! Like, uh, people like watching this. People think it's funny. So then the next the next day I went out with with, with the same buddies and we just filmed like four or five more of them. And I started posting them daily. And then um, and then Luke here. We uh, Luke Luke came down to San Diego a couple of weeks ago, and we filmed some some pranks with the gorilla suits on, and we yeah. we actually got we got a company to send us a train horn, so we we just started filming a bunch of like different different kind of pranks, and then one of them out one of them went ultra viral, got about fifteen million views, and yeah, we're sitting on TikTok at about forty k followers right now, nice. and uh, I I got we we got big plans in mind for the future of this stuff. So. So yeah, that's a little background. That's awesome. That's awesome. So you guys are—I was going to say—California, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm San Diego, and he's a. Uh, yeah, he's I'm San Francisco. In- okay. Yeah. So you guys, you guys got co- all year round content for this. Yeah, because I looked. I mean, even your Instagram—it's only been a couple of weeks. You're already up to two thousand followers on there, and some change. So. Yeah. It, it's something that, like, dude, I literally I turned it on and I laughed because <laughs> you're going to get a different reaction from everybody. You do, yeah. The, the coolest, one of the coolest things is, is that um, the the audience is like anywhere from people our age and younger to up to like 60, 70, 80, even 80 year olds I've seen comment and they just say, you know, this made my day. Um, I'm la- like, I'm, I've been laughing for the last hour scrolling through your channel. Like, that's really what kind of keeps us going and making these videos. It's just like, we're just out here to make people laugh, you know, it's that's like, good. it's just, it's so it's just so fun and obviously we know it's like it's it's a bit trolly it's a bit like childish to like do this but oh but um you know it's just it's all part it's all like our main mission here is just to make people laugh that's it right yeah because i mean yeah i'm 40 and i sit here and laugh about it all the time i'll get them yeah. here quick. i yeah. literally every day you guys got something new coming on so i'm sitting there laughing about it uh um, yeah and that like and, I said, uh, you're going to have so many different reactions from people. So it's just going to be consistent, you know, constant content. Exactly. Yeah. Um, at a hundred K followers, we, uh, we will be doing a face reveal and we actually are going to be going to a, a PGA tour event and bring, bringing an air horn and we're going to, we're going to get that going. Oh, so, so I, it's, 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 crazy, it's, dude. it's, 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 def- it's definitely going to be a while until we get to that point. But, um, yeah, I think I think I think once we get there, we're just gonna we're gonna I think it's I think that's gonna be really big. Obviously, it's dangerous. It's stupid. We'll probably be banned forever. But you know, it's 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 all part of it now. Right. It's worth the clicks, right? Fuck it. It's, it's worth the clicks. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. 
So you're going to do that when you get a hundred thousand? Yeah. Yeah. When we get up to a hundred thousand, Yo, that's, you're that's probably going to get there a lot quicker than you think. dude. Yeah. Uh, I was originally, I was hoping for end of the year and then, uh, now I'm hoping for end of the summer. Yeah, that's the I goal. Know. Cause what you have, it's, it's like, it's different. It's comical. It still involves golf. It's what every kid wants to do when they first get their license and drive by a golf course. Like, yeah. You know, and like, it's also, it's also what, you know, every, every, uh, every, like all the, all the older gentlemen who like, who probably did that back when they were a kid, they're looking at this and they're like, damn, I used to do that. And that shit is fucking funny. That's so like, like the, first, the first guy, that first guy's reaction. When you turn back and look at you, like, I want to get mad, but I used yeah. to do the same shit. You know? <laughs> yeah. 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 And yeah, it was funny. Uh, we actually, we were, we were over at the course that we usually go to and we, we got this guy and then he looks back, he, he looks back and points at us. He's like, I've seen you guys on fucking TikTok. Like, <laughs> fuck you guys. He was laughing. He was laughing. Like, you know, it's fun. like about, I'd say most people kind of laugh it off and then, you know, there's always that 10% who will give you a good reaction. And that's, yeah. that's the one that gives you the clicks. Now, who was in the gorilla suit? Which one of you guys jumped in the gorilla suit? <laughs> yeah, I was the one in the gorilla suit. There you go. <laughs> yeah, that was a really fun time. Pretty scary, to be honest, but definitely worth it for the views, you know? That's awesome. Yeah, you guys got definitely got some clicks on that. So what, yeah. the, what's your next move, you think? What are you coming up with next? What should we be yes. looking out for? Yeah, so next move, um, we're launching a, an apparel company right now. It's called okay. it's called it's called Take Another, and our main focus with this is, uh, you know, take another shot, like when you're playing golf, or take another beer when you're when, like. We're, our main focus here is just to kind of be the pioneers to make golf a little bit less serious, because yeah. you know it's like football players can play with a million fans screaming at them. Basketball players can play with that. But golfers, for some reason, like, I, I don't think golfers should need complete silence to play. I think I think it should be a much more enjoy. Like, I think it'd be much more enjoyable for you know it's just to be just a much more chill sport. And I and I, and I honestly think scores will get better too. Cause, right. uh, I, I've had I've had I, I'm a big golfer myself, and like the rounds that I play the best is like when I'm when there's music blasting, when there's when I'm talking like talking with my friends. You know, it's not. It's, it, I play better. I play better than when I'm like super dialed in and focused. So I, I just, I think golf is honestly overdue for a big change in that department. Live golf is obviously doing a decent, a decent. Um, it's, it's obviously doing a decent way of that with like their tournaments. But sure. you know, I just, I just think it's all too serious, man. That's and, the thing. Uh, like, look at the waste management. Like the six, what is it, sixteen at waste management? That whole yeah, that's like, like that's lit. Like people are enjoying themselves. Like have a do that. Like loosen up a little bit here. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, because that's pretty much like we what we do on Sundays. We got eight guys. Um, we go out, we play our round, we all come back in, take our scores. Everybody pulls a card, match up the scores. Whoever uh, has the same card, like ace, ace, king, king, that's who wins. But we're doing the same thing. We're the pitch, putt, and puff. We're sit, hanging back. We're smoking. We're busting balls. We got the music going. Like, yeah. It's just a chill atmosphere. And most of the time, I mean, we're still being competitive, but you're having a, you're just having a good time and, and kicking it with the boys. And that's really what it's all about. Exactly. No, that's 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 exactly what it's all about. Golf is like it's it's an amazing game. It's it's a fun game, and you know, it should it should be treated like that. No doubt. So I don't want to keep you guys too long. I know you guys are busy. Got some shit going on. Um, I appreciate you jumping on, man. I do. I know you got. You guys are gonna be blowing up. So I'm glad I'm one of the first podcasts you got on. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, you actually you actually are the first. But yeah, we got a couple more coming up in the next couple of weeks. So <laughs> I'm gonna hashtag that when you guys hit a million. Don't forget about me when you guys blow up. Oh, absolutely <laughs> not, man. I <laughs> uh, appreciate you guys. Where can they find you? Uh, yeah. Find us on Instagram at Mulligans Master. And then TikTok and YouTube at Mull at Mulligan Master. And then uh, if you want to check out the apparel Instagram, it's taking up take another golf. Uh, we we just we just came out with a T-shirt. It's a pretty simple design, but but yeah yeah find us find us all over. We're we're posting every day, two three times a day on all platforms. So awesome, join man. join join the movement. Hashtag take another. Take another. <laughs> no, I appreciate it, guys. Keep doing giving those old guys hell out there. Hell yeah. <laughs> sure. sure. Fun. Seriously, though. Assholes. Good luck, guys. Keep the content coming. Um, if you guys ever need anything from me, you need me to promote anything like that, feel free to hit me up. 
Um, oh yeah, absolutely. Anyway, any way I can help, let me know. Yeah. All right, boys, appreciate you guys tuning in. And uh, once we come back from the break here, we'll get into a little Masters talk and this upcoming weekend of the Pitch, Putt, and Puff. All right, we're back. Well, thanks for Morgan Masters for jumping on. We were scheduled for next week. He had some shit pop up, so we couldn't. Uh, we, the only time we can really get it in, so I appreciate them jumping on for a few minutes. Definitely go check them out, man. They got some funny as shit. Ballsy couple dudes, man, because they're definitely going to run into an issue at some point um, oh, yeah. with what they do. But, Somebody's uh, going to try to fight them, for sure. Some, dude, they've had a couple people like come at the car and, and shit like that. Uh, interesting shit, man. It's, the good golfers are going to throw a stinger at their shit. That's what I, that's what I first thing I messaged to him. I said, bro, you did that to me? I'm dropping a ball out of my pocket and hitting a fucking line drive right at you. He goes, bro, I, and I would respect it, but I'd get it on camera. Yeah. I was like, yo, no doubt, bro. That's what it's about. Um, But yeah, what we're going to do now is, uh, well, first off, let's get into our smoke of the night. Shout out to 420 Bliss. This is going to be uh, the Noble, B Noble pre-rolls, uh, one gram hitters. Check these bad boys out. What do we got here? 27% THC. Ooh. Yeah, these are, these should be nice here. So make sure you check out 420 Bliss, 740 Who's It Road. You don't feel like leaving the house, www.420bliss.com. They have a delivery service they can hook you up with as well. And don't forget to check out my man Garrett over at the Hit Kick. Get yourself a custom Hit Kit. A little flamethrower here. These things are dope. Uh, I give you one of these? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so Jay, Masters is coming up this week, man. Uh, what are you thinking for the Masters? Are you excited or what? Yeah, I think it's going to be I think it's gonna be good. There's a lot of good players now. This is uh, this is what we've been waiting for. It's definitely more interesting now that guys are coming from a different group, like Liv, and coming to play with the PGA. Uh, so with all those guys showing up, I mean, John Rahm won there last year. Yep. He's Liv now. Um, but you gotta think like Scotty's probably gonna be up there. Scotty's on fire right now. He's on fire. You got it's gonna be good because it's gonna be you're getting the best of the best. Every all the best of the best are playing against each other this weekend. Mm -hmm. Um, I always feel like too once the Masters takes off, the golf season really starts. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I actually me so before we really dive too deep, me Fairway Hank, Bob got out yesterday. Um, and then me, Bob, and Fairway played on Monday. Tried to play today, got rained out, played a couple holes. I showed up late. I had a meeting at work that ran late. Met those guys in the second hole. Part of the second, I had a, my first shot was short, and the greens are uh, still a little aerated. Yeah, they're I not, heard they were like a little slow. They're very slow. Yeah. Like for Freer Park, they are slow. So I'm hoping by the weekend um, they cut and roll them. Because if not, it's going to be mm. – there's going to be some high scores on Sunday for the pitch pot and pot. I talked to Gary. He's a group that plays before us. And um, he said they were slow and that they were actually supposed to be cutting them for, like, the weekend. So. Good. Because it, it's going to be a different – straight-up different match. Like, it's going to be a different course come the weekend than if they cut and roll those. Because they're – like, on two, for example, a downhill putt stopping on the hill. Like I had chipped on right. and it where I chipped and it should have rolled to like where fairway was standing at the bottom, it, it stopped, like above the pin. And then even my putt stopped before the hole. Um, but I had a putt up on two today. The thing was rolling right at it and just stopped like a quarter inch for a bird. I was like, damn, ended up paring. But we played I played we played played till four and we just two, three, four and got the hell out of there. It sucked. But Bob played really good yesterday. He's been playing pretty good. He's going to get his little two-week two, two week stretch where he can play some golf, and then it's over for him <laughs> until once a week. He's usually hot in the beginning anyway. Always starts off hot, man. Always starts off hot. I he just want to break, like, 90 on Sunday for my first round of the year. That's my mindset is always keep it under 100 for the first time, especially because, like, we didn't do the simulator this year a lot. No. Like, maybe a handful of times if that. Where last year we were doing it every week at least. Our swing was consistent. Um, I'm having a little trouble off the tee. Shout out Marty and company. Um, real dope episode we released yesterday with the, uh, the round table we did with Marty, Nick from Makefield Putters, and uh, Upstate Golf Guys. That was pretty cool. Anthony had some fucking game he had us playing. I don't fucking know what that was, but he's always a character. 
But yeah, I don't know, Jada Masters, man. It should be good. I'm hoping my man. Who's your pick? My man, I picked DJ. We had the picks. The, uh, we did the picks on the upstate the other night. I picked DJ and my DJ and Victor are my two favorites. And my dark horse is Tommy Fleetwood. I just feel like sometimes in the Masters, there's that one guy who just right. pops up. Um, and I really, I think Fleetwood's a good golfer. He just has that one day where he fucking shits the bed every major. And it's like, bro. Because mm-hmm. sometimes you look and he's, you know, one of the top guys on the on the scoreboard. And then you look the next day and he's like fucking 14. It's like, bro, what, what just happened? What just happened? Yeah, he's always, he, he plays good golf. Like you said, he like, at the end, he just doesn't make it to the top. Yeah, he just doesn't close out. That kid, um, Oshke, I don't know if that's how you say it or not, but the lefty that just won last week. Yeah. And they were talking about him and, like, how lefties do good at, do good there. At Augusta, yeah. So if he stays hot, I don't know how much he hurt himself with his shoulder when he said he celebrated it, like, popped or something. He's, like, had shoulder problems or something. But if he's not affected, he could have maybe, if he comes in hot, yeah, like him, Scotty, um... You got like Xander. Yeah, there's everybody now. You got Rom. You got Rom still there. Yep. Kepka could do work. I mean, we were looking at the uh, the odds the other night, and I mean, there's some money to be made on this tournament. If you if if someone in the top five doesn't win, there's some money to be made. If you're a gambler, um, I'm not because I'm terrible at it. <laughs> I'm literally the worst gambler ever. I had a good little streak. Um, in the college football bowl games, I, I won a couple bucks on those, but after that, it's all down. Because I watch college football. I don't really yeah. watch every – I watch golf, a little bit of golf, and I watch college football. I'm too busy doing other shit to be sit. I don't have time to sit down and watch. The only Masters pick I've ever won was the um, Hideki Matsuyama, and nobody believed me. And I was tired. Right. I was like, yo, for some reason, I just think – it's his turn, and like something when I seen like his lines and stuff, I was like, you know, I bet you it's going to be this. And he was kind of playing good a little bit before that. I was like, I prior. bet you it's going to be Hideki. Yeah. And then that was like the only time I've ever picked like the right one because I don't bet like to win like a little bit. I want to find like the longer shot That's how I in, do like it. the 1500s area. Dude, I could show you so many times on my on my Caesars app that I use. How many times where I bet like an 18 parlay in like a college football weekend and hit seven to eight teams. Ugh. And like the game I should have hit was like the favorite of the, of all those picks where it cost me like nothing. Big like bucks. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like my $20 bet could have been cash money. Right. You know? And it's like, damn dude, could have been a couple of thousand on, mm-hmm. on that. But no one team, the favorite Alabama wants to lose it. Right. They only won by like 30 <laughs> instead of, <laughs> 50 with the spread pretty much yeah so who's your pick oh, my overall pick I think I'm gonna I think it's it's gonna be Scotty this year Scotty's hot he's won what two tournaments in a row now that he's played in he's, he's just so good two of the players right yeah, he's, he's on fire he's on fire um yeah, I'm going DJ. DJ or Victor? By long shot, I probably take. I probably take Bryson to Shambo. That dude's so like technical yeah. out there that if he's dude. playing good, bro, he can. He gets fucking nukes, bro. Dude, and everything is so like, it's his game's crazy. He hits nukes. Um, yeah, so that should be that should be pretty interesting. Uh, but this weekend, open the weekend of the pitch pot and paw. What do you think, Jay? Who's gonna do what? We gotta put some matches. We gotta put the groups together. I'm gonna shoot the lowest, most with likely. no practice, with no. <laughs> These guys are bombs. Uh, I don't. I mean, there's really Steve. You're gonna. You're pretty much the top guy. You now, and if Steve. I shoot under like 90, I'd be happy with that for my first one. You and Steve out there, like I said, me Fairway. Fairway's been out there since. January 18th, um, hitting balls at six. It doesn't correlate to the course, though, for him sometimes. Uh, Putting's a struggle right now because it's really tough with the air raid degree. So, Putting's just tough. Bob's hot. Hank played pretty well the other day. That's where it worries me right now. Bob's always the hottest golfer for some reason yeah. in the early. He could shoot, like, 85 or under already somehow. 
Yeah, it's I don't a, know how he comes out so hot all the time. Because he sits in there all winter long and just chips and chips in, and in chips. his house, yeah, right? Because he he's he's laid off in the winter for for his job and he sits there and he literally has a net and he just chips. But he's so good with his short game is where he's you know what he did the other day? How many times he up and down? A few for par. Like. A few. Or he was just like because of the greens, he was missing like a full fucking three foot putt. Um but he was putting off of the fringe. Remember where he used to chip those? Mm. And he was putting and he was getting so close. I'm like, bro, just attack the fucking pin from there. Like, stop chipping and trying to be fancy. Like, yes, you are good with the short games. He wants to, like, like, show it off that he's, like, the best around the green chipper. It's so tough. I mean, what I'm going to like this year, it's going to be a little bit easier to put these groups together um, without the headache of, of the fucking drama between Aaron and Steve and all the other bullshit I dealt with last year. But Brad's out this week, so Panisi's filling in. Mm-hmm. Um, Panisi's pretty much one of the guys, but he's gonna he's got a baby on the way, uh, so he's definitely gonna miss some weeks. Brad's gonna miss some weeks, so hopefully that just correlates. Or I'll have to work on getting the third tee time for get the upstate guys out. Want to get the helium company guys out. Uh, a couple people from the city area want to pop out. Homegirl from uh, Scranton, Pennsylvania, might pop out for a weekend. So. There's some shit. You gotta tell them, uh, yeah, Pennsylvania people who meet us in Binghamton. That's what I'm saying. That would be actually a dope idea. I didn't even think of that. Play two rounds in one day. Play the early one with the league, and then play the Go round play with one them, the yeah. after. There's some stuff. Uh, John, the bubbling golfer, one of the podcasts on the Golfer Gang Networks, headed up. He's from Pennsylvania. He's headed to the Catskills um, to play Chris, Christmas Wyndham House down there. Um, which also Farley's good friends with shout out Farley, uh, good friends with the owner's daughter. So we might we might join them that weekend, depending on what's going on with us. But so what I got in the works for us, Jay, I got a couple courses I reached out to um, to do some course reviews. Nothing in stone yet, but I did get a response from two of them who pretty much just have to lock in a date kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, do have the tournament coming up with the New York Auto Flower. Going to try to work that out. Uh, it's a Thursday, July 18th. But also working on another possible cannabis-based tournament uh, locally. And then also something a little bit bigger. That's going to a little bit more information on that to follow, which can be really big for the pitch putt and puff. Uh, excited about that. But, yeah, this weekend, so we got myself, JR, Bob, Fairway, mm-hmm. So it's like, who do you want to start your first round of the year? Benici, with? Hank, Steve, and Kev. Um, so those boys are all locked in for this weekend. Our tee times are at 9 and 9.09 or something like that. So, or 9.12, I forget what the spacing is, but whatever the spacing is. We're just back to back. And uh, I think you got to put. What do you think? I think your group should be. I'm going to try to get a. Um, I've been trying to find a mount for the golf cart for the GoPro. Okay. I have to look into that real quick. But um, if you're going to have your video, you're going to be videoing a lot. I think you should get Panisi in your cart and then put like Hank and Fairway in the other cart. Okay. We could, that's actually not a bad group right there. And then our group could be me, Bob, Steve, and Kev. And Kev. <laughs> Let's do that. So me and Panisi will ride together for week one. We'll put Hank and Fairway together. <laughs> Y'all Hank and Fairway together, dude. We're going viral week one, boys. And then in group two, we got... We'll go you and... Uh, go me and Bob the first week. Yeah, you and Bob. And then Kevin, Steve. All right, so now this is what I'm going to do, too. Just mine. It's like, so Brad missed this week, right? Yeah. I'm pretty much just going to rotate guys. So I'm going to grab, like, one from each group and crisscross it back and forth. The whole way. And then the following week. So, like, next week it'll be, like, you and Hank. And then Panisi or Brad with Steve. And then Kev will come with me. And then Bub will go. You know what I'm with, saying? With Fair way. Yeah. Nice. So, that way, then the following week I'll flip it back to the group who hasn't played. And I'll keep track of all this shit now that I'll know yeah. who's who. So, this is what? 4-13, right? This is going to be the date. Well, that's how we're going to do it. So, we're going to constantly mix it up. Everybody's going to get a chance to play in a different group, different people all the time. Yeah, hoping to get the GoPro in the cart so we can start asking, like, people just, like, random questions while we're out there. Well, here's the thing we can do, too, Jay, is we can just go 
IG live, or we can go on this and record live and post it to post it to YouTube later as well. Yeah. So we can. There's a bunch of different options we have now that we didn't have last year. So it should be interesting couple of weeks here. These groups are exciting. We'll do twenty five bucks. Um, twenty five bucks, five bucks going to a skin each side. Five on the front, five on the back. Birdie, you're better. That's what we got to do. There's birdie holes out there. Uh, I had a I couple. I think there would be skins with just pars, but it's like does a guy deserve the skin if he only? And then if pars? not, we'll roll it over. We'll just roll it over. I'll take the money. I'll, I'll stash How many birdies somewhere. do we really make? Like. Some days it's a lot. Some days do it's we like want to do par, or do you want to roll it over? What do you think we should do? I mean, it's our, <laughs> our decision. We're, we're the ones making the decision right now. I'm cool with either uh, one. Really. It's tough to say because there are days where you'll be like, a guy has like two, and then another guy had one, another guy had one. Then there's days where no one has one. No one has right. one. So and it's a lot on Sunday where the pins are because I got a feeling he's gonna bust our balls the opening week. <laughs> Keith Greg is going to bust our balls the opening week. He's going to give us no no break. He's going to come out there. Put, he's going to freshly cut them, roll them as tight as he can, and we're going to get there, and it's going to be like Dude, the best pins are run. like Saturday. Yeah. And the Sundays are hard because that's when like all the – um, the members members are there they yeah. know that so like that's why nobody can get a tea time really early at free apart because all the members have them from like 6 30 all mm -hmm. the way to like 10 pretty much we're one of the last groups out um and but, yo, like that's the thing like, behind us. like literally and, it's all members from like 6 to 9 30 yeah and but like if, you can't get out so he knows we're all there so he tries to make it up and literally looking at this us. group right now one two three four Five, Brent, six of us, six of the eight guys are members. Right. Like. Just in our eight person group. Just in our eight person and group. And there's a group of 20 that plays before us and they're all members. Yeah. And then there's guys before them, them that yeah, just the come, older group. the older heads, they're all been members for longer than we've probably been alive. Right. So, I mean, you got to understand that. Like, it's the same thing. Like, if you go to any other, because I heard people were complaining about tea, like, tea times and shit. Oh, you can never play early up there because of leagues and this and that. It's like Bro, but been, people have been members there. So yeah, long, you're there right? supporting you the course. Like I try to get on. Like, for example, for me, last year, a couple years ago, I was trying to get on Schenectady and Healy. He's like, "Oh, members can book three or four days in advance, and then public has right. to book after." Which should that's the way it should be. I mean, it's not like publicized like that because it's a public course, but like you can't lose fifty season pass holders because right. you don't want to give up like three hours worth so of time. So we had uh, Tom Casey, the councilman. On. The upstate golf guys a couple couple weeks ago and we were talking about like the revenue the course is bringing in with the improvements and this and that and how they up the charge for the season pass and he goes we actually had more people sign up this year than any other year we've ever had right, but it's also the money they put into it they're starting mm -hmm. to see back like jay literally that course right now the fairways look like yankees like cut like yankee stadium yeah. like they're what you're what hole was it? I was on six, I think it was, and I was literally sitting there where it would have been a puddle. Any other it was news? super dry. Now. Yeah, you know where that little dip is. Yeah, right behind the trees. Always be puddles there. Always a puddle right in the middle of the fairway, and I'm sitting there going, "Man, like it was like perfect turf. Like it was so compared to what it was a couple. Like we wouldn't even been playing. No. Yeah, because of how shitty the course was, but it's a lot more enjoyable. The greens are going to be. That's what's going to be interesting, dude. That's going to be an interesting factor. But yeah, I'm thinking Panisi. I don't know if he's got out yet. Uh, Hanks played once with us a couple times in the. He played once with us in the February. Bob's hot right now. We'll see what he does come Sunday. Fairway's always hit or miss. Fairway's good until he smokes. <laughs> once he smokes, he's just checking. He's one of the out. birdie guys out there because he, if he plays red, the gully hole. He's That's on the green bad. and one. That's an eagle or or a birdie for him. All so day. he could win that skin if he plays red tees like every week if he hits a good drive there. He always makes a birdie there. He, he drives it like right around the green. Yeah. He's only playing like 180. I really, honestly, like even just playing a couple rounds this, this past couple days, I feel like my irons are, I'm hitting them good already, which normally doesn't happen i'm getting off the tee okay just still a little getting mm -hmm. used to it that's the hardest thing for me because when i go to the simulator dude the way my swing is 
I don't want to change my swing to accommodate the simulator reading my fucking shot. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I hit those low liners. I'm hitting the ball well. It's just kind of going more right than I was. I was finishing with that draw last year at the end. Yeah. Now I'm starting to get that little bit of a slice back. But that's always a work in progress. But if I putt and chip good, I think I'll be all right. Went to the range like twice. Hit some good balls. I know. I was trying to get the kid out of go the other day, but it was a little too cold to take her. She was quitting in about five minutes. Hopefully, I just have uh, enough of Ability to, <laughs> I think, but that's the thing. Like you're Sugar, capable right. to hang with obviously any single one of these guys in this group. But opening week, you're still top three out there. Like you, Bob, Steve, Fairway, Hank, but he's like we're all right there. There's not like one person that's really going to stand out and shoot. I mean, 10 if under. anybody shoots like under 85, I'd be like that'd Surprise. be pretty impressive yeah. for the, like the first 18 of the year. Absolutely. I'm curious if Panisi's played. I know he's been busy with he's got a kid on the way and shit, but I doubt it. I can't wait to get him on some video. Uh go live with him a couple of times. That'll probably get us canceled, but it will be interesting to say the least. So yeah, the groups are gonna be me and Panisi, Hank and Fairway, group one. That's the first group out, nine o'clock. Go JR and Bub, Kevin, Steve. Yeah, we got our master's picks. I got Dustin Johnson. These two get along good, too. Because yeah. they listen to, like, the same, same music, music and shit. Same music, guys. So it's a good vibe. But it's a good vibe right there for the first week. Everybody's, yeah, I like that. I really, take it fair way. They'll fucking go at each they'll other. Be big Me and Panisi will be making fun of them. Making fun of each other. <laughs> yeah. Me and Bub been friends since we've been, like, eight years old. Right. So it's just a good vibe overall. Like, that's all this is, like, that's all I want to do with this. And then, like, um... Coming up, I'm going to start doing some different things. I'll, I'll be announcing, like, May, May 1st, we're going to make the announcement, but there's going to be some some different events coming up we're going to try to do, go to different courses, add some people to the group, see what we can do, some scrambles and such, uh, see what happens. Might have a scramble tournament for us for a charity. Not anything to do with, like, our podcast, but maybe we can get some videos out there. Oh, yeah. maybe, we get, maybe we can bring two groups to it and – I can represent the podcast that way. Like, I'll sponsor one if, like, shit we works go, out. We have to sign 50, 50 bucks a piece on the sign, get it out of one of the holes. That's what I'm saying. Do something like that. That's that's kind of how it's going to start working if shit goes well. we got some things in the works with some different companies, possibilities, and some sponsorship. So, all you got to do is get a QR code on the sign. Now, you don't have to write your shit. You that's just get a QR doing. code, have them put their phone up, and then once they see it, they click it. They're not going to search it, type it all in. Just get a QR code now and just. Yep. They have to get their phone on it to see it. So they're going to click to see what it is. Maybe so catch a is. follow or two out of it. But yeah, this week I dropped, went to the West Coast. We dropped the Legends on Monday. Check that out. Custom Sticks with Paul on Tuesday. Tacos at the Turn, Nelson on Wednesday. Thursday's the Masters Review. And then we're wrapping up the week here. So we'll give you uh, Monday morning, you'll wake up to a pitch putt and puff. Uh, Sunday, golf review. Wednesday, I'll have a guest on. And then Friday, we'll be dropping uh, just a recap and an upcoming look at the pitch putt and puff going forward. But appreciate everybody tuning in. Jay, you got anything to wrap up? Nope. Sounds good. It's going to be fun. Can't let's wait. See what happens Sunday. Appreciate everybody tuning in. And we'll catch up with you soon. Make sure you check out 420 Bliss and Trouble Off the Tee.